Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello and welcome, dear students, to this video which is on prefixes. By the end of this video, you will be able to, number one, understand what is meant by the term prefix. Number two, use the prefixes un, dis, re, d, and pre correctly. But what are prefixes? A prefix is a group of letters we add to the front of a word. And prefixes may change the meaning and or the part of speech of the word. For example, kind becomes unkind. How has the word meaning been altered or changed? The word has become its opposite meaning. It has become an antonym. An example on the prefix un. My mom was unwell at the weekend with a bad cold. She was not well. Another example. Jerry seemed unhappy that the cat was by his hole. He was not happy. Can you disable the alarm? Can you stop the work of the alarm? Now look at these words. What is the appropriate prefix that can be used? Perfect. It is un. So we are going to add the prefix un to the root words here. So to say that something is not finished, we say it is unfinished. Pack becomes unpack, which is the opposite of pack. Unload. Unwell. Undo. And finally, unfit, which means not fit. What about these words? What about these root words? What is the appropriate prefix that can be used? You're right, we're going to add this to say discolored, which means not colored, dislike, which means hate, displease, which is the opposite of please, disapprove, and it means does not approve, disorder, which is the opposite of order, and distrust. What about these words? Is it un or dis? Disobey. Disbelief. Discharge. Disapprove. Disappear. Disagree. But unwell. Unfit. And uncover. Examples about the prefix re here. Danny had to refill the bucket. He had to fill it again. So re means do something again. Another example. The TV showed an action replay. It is a replay. Now the prefix D. Dad had to defrost the chicken before he put it in the oven. Before he put the chicken in the oven, he had to defrost or to remove the ice or the frost from the chicken. Another example. The time to depart from the station had arrived. Depart here means leave. Pre, which means before. Nasser liked prehistoric animals, which means Nasser liked maybe stories about animals which are prehistoric, means before history. Another example on pre. A prefix is fixed to the front of a word. And of course, our lesson is on prefixes. Is it re, d, or pre? You're right. Deposit. Premature. 
rearrange report or report reheat which means heat again precaution prefix finally deface how many words can you think of that begin with the prefix auto for example autobiography which means a biography written by a person about his own life you're right autograph automobile automatic what do you think auto means perfect auto means self to be done by itself can you think of any words that begin with the prefix by for example bicycle excellent did you think of any of these words biceps bilingual biplane biannual bifocals what do you think the prefix by means it means two or twice perfect so for example bilingual means speaking two languages and biannual means twice a year now let's have a quiz on some prefixes can you match each prefix to its meaning let's start together so micro what does micro mean you're right it means small for example we say microorganism circum like circumference yeah it means round tele like in telescope so it means far by and we agreed that by means two aqua and this has to do with water and trans which means across now answer the following questions number one it was space possible to sleep because of the noise is it this in in or un yes that's right it was impossible number two the name of this restaurant is space known to me is it a this miss or un of course it is unknown number three i didn't space to find ahmed at the stadium football is not his thing is it exchange excuse expect or export yes that's right I didn't expect number four space me for being late it will not happen again is it exchange excuse expect or export of course we say excuse me number five I want to space this shirt for a larger size. And again, we have the same four options. Is it exchange, excuse, expect, or export? I want to exchange. Yes, that's right. Number six, I don't remember Farag. Can you de-space him? Uh, and we are going to use grass, port, scribe, or spect. Yes. Can you describe him? Number seven. What products does your company X space? 
and we have the same parts of words here. Yes, what products does your company export? Question number eight. I'm totally against watching violent films, but I re space your opinion. Yes, that's right. I respect your opinion. Goodbye and good luck.